Hey everyone, as promised, this is my video pretty much summing up my first year of pharmacy school. Whoa. First off, I am sorry. I'm sorry I threw y'all all the way off with the title of my video. I did not mean to scare all of you. I felt so terrible after. I was like, oh my gosh, like everyone's like freaking out. But um, you all eventually realized that I am still in pharmacy school. But I didn't mean to scare y'all. Okay, so I wanted to wait a little while. I'm sorry it took a little long. Um, but I actually went on vacation to Puerto Rico. I did record some videos, so hopefully you all will see those soon. Um, but yeah, so I got all the questions and I had them on my phone. Hey everyone, so I... Oh, that was the video. <laughs> Alright. Let's get to these questions. Alright, so for the first question, this is... Oh, I don't know how to say your name, but it's A S D F F A S D F A F. Yeah, I I don't know if that's your name or not. <laughs> but uh you asked some great questions, so here goes. Um uh, my questions are what worked best for you in terms of study habits? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if I have like anything like set in stone. But um I am a transfer, so I'm like coming from another school. So it was a hard adjustment to get into the program um, in terms of just like studying and getting used to like the curriculum. It was really hard. So I was using the same study habits that I learned in undergrad, but those obviously were not effective because I was not doing well in the beginning. So I had to kind of change around. So some professors recorded their lectures which was great because I learned well by listening and seeing. So some professors recorded the lectures because during class, like, it goes by so fast. And, well, class doesn't go by fast because some hour, 20-minute classes, they, those classes are long. And you're sitting there like, when is this going to be over? But anyway, so in class, like, I miss so much stuff that the professor says because either I'm, like, trying to take notes off of what they're saying or just trying to listen. So there's so much that I miss. So what I would do first is, when preparing to study, try to study, like, two weeks in advance. Yes, two weeks because, for me at least, I know I need the time. Um, I would re-listen to the lecture, um, whether they posted it, um, they had it on there, or on my phone I'd record lectures, but just make sure that the professor is okay with recording the lecture, um, even if they're not, I still did, just don't get caught because I really just needed that. But anyway, so I record the lecture, I'll listen to it, and as I listen to it, I'll write notes down. And then, like, usually I would write notes on the notes that I took in class, but most times my notes are little to none in cl from class because I'm trying to listen so that way I can take in some of the information already. So I'll re-listen to the lecture and write down notes basically based off of everything the professor says then after I do that I will do I will like look over it a couple times and I will ask any questions that I don't know about the material with the professor or the TAs or the tutors anything that your school provides and then I will um do practice questions. Most likely, whatever school you go to, there's going to be upperclassmen that have old exams, that have practice problems, or the professor themselves will give you old exams and you just work on those. Whichever ones you get wrong, then you have to go back and study that material. So that's what I did. Um, that's what I tried to do and that's what kind of worked for me. However, it still was a little bit of a struggle because it was just like, I, w I still wasn't getting the grades that I wanted. So what I did was I would go to tutoring for the peer tutoring and it was great because the peers, they are students and they've been through the class so they kind of know. And sometimes I would ask them like, how did you study? And some of them would be like, you just need to memorize everything in the slides or you need to understand what's going on. So it's kind of just like, it, it changes for each class, but for the most part, that's what I did. It's very time consuming, and that's why I say begin this two weeks in advance, or even like after class, like listen to the lecture again and take notes so that way you don't have to go back and do that again. So that's what I did for um, majority of my classes. There's some classes where I couldn't do that because it was just too much, and those classes, like I just had to memorize 
everything in the PowerPoint anyway. How I did that was, um, I'm not, PowerPoints are not my favorite because I would just click, click, click and pretend that I'm reading and I'm not reading. So what I would do is I'll take the information from the PowerPoint and put it in a Word document and like have it like bullet point listed. And I would just read that over and over, read it out loud even. I studied with friends and sometimes we would talk it out just so that we can memorize it because that's literally all you need to do for that class. That was pharmaceutics. Pharmaceutics is just one of those classes that it's just like annoying because you just have to memorize everything but they ask such random little details about stuff and you're just like why would you ask me this but anyway let me get off um, my soapbox but anyway so yeah so Studying kind of differs for each class that you're taking, how the professor is, how the professor asks questions, but I would say the golden rule is to do practice problems, especially if they are old exams from the professor because the professor can make but so many questions and you can know how they ask their questions so you can kind of alter your studying based off of that. So that was my study habits. Um, Really, I, I'm a audio and visual learner, so listening to it really helps me. So um, my advice to you would be to record your lectures. Um, ask for permission. Don't ask for permission. Just don't get in trouble. I don't want you saying, well, Ganisi said that I need to record my lectures to do well. So no, they will do whatever it is that they do if they catch someone recording the lecture. So I would be cautious with that. But that's what really helped me. The next question is, did you have a hard time balancing church and studies? Um, no. <laughs> For me, it was never a question of if I need to do something, like if I need to study or if I have so much going on that I can't spend time with God or I can't go to church or I can't go to Bible study or something like that. I made that priority because at the end of the day, God put you in pharmacy school. He put me in pharmacy school, so I'm going to give him his time. And how do you not want to spend time with God? But I get what you're asking, though. Um, no, it wasn't an issue. Sunday mornings, I went to church. Um, after church, I would come back, cook dinner, um, probably study because... I had lab on Mondays, don't have lab on Mondays. I repeat, do not have lab on Mondays. If you can avoid it, just don't. Both semesters, I had lab on Monday. And the only reason why I say that is because it's just annoying. Like, it's Monday morning and then you have lab, so it's just like the weekend comes and you know you didn't do much on the weekend and then it's Sunday night and you're trying to prepare for lab and just... Yeah, especially when you have practicals and then all the students want to come to you and ask you, oh, how was lab? What did you do? How was this? And then you're like, who, who was there for me to ask? But anyway, if that's your priority, you will make sure you find the time to spend time with God, go to church or what have you and still study. It's very possible. So, um, yeah, it wasn't an issue for me. Uh, just make sure that you prioritize, you know, church for me, church on Sunday wasn't a question. And because I wanted to be there, not just because I have to be in church on Sunday, but because I wanted to. And Bible studies on Tuesday, like it was a young adult Bible study. I wanted to be there and I made sure I was. So that's pretty much how I balanced my church, my church. That's pretty much how I balanced my studies in church. So, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't finish your question. I want to be involved and not push church aside, but I'm worried that I will have to commit all of my hours to pharmacy school in the fall. So you can still be involved and still study and still, you know, go to church. Like, it's it's not an issue for you. I wouldn't worry too much. Um, just see how it is the first couple of weeks for you. Uh, just make sure that you, you do get your studying in. Like, if you feel like, if you know yourself and you know you procrastinate, make sure you get stuff done before Sunday morning so that way you can go to church. Or make sure that you get all your stuff done like set a sketch like set up a schedule for yourself you know I'm going to study this amount of time so that way I can have this amount of time to spend with God I can have this amount of time to go to church like I can pretty much do everything so um I wouldn't be too worried about that I was still involved and involved I like the 
Okay, so I'll share this with you guys since um I don't know what other video I'll share it in, but I actually am going to be an ambassador this fall, um, well, next year, I, I don't know if it's in the spring too, most likely. Um, I was hired to be an ambassador and I'm super excited. So what an ambassador is, is that they're the ones who give the tour guides, they're the ones who represent the school. And so they chose me to represent the campus and I'm super excited because I'll have a job, which, you know, everyone needs money. So um, I'm super excited about that. So yeah, I am going to be involved in that sense. And but this past year, I did I went to like the Christian group on campus, I attended some of like the APHA events and meetings. Um, what else did I do? What else? Oh, I was also a um, proctor for exams. So you know, I still was involved, like I still did stuff, you know, I was still very much involved in the church, like going to the Bible studies and whatnot. So I still was able to balance all that how prioritize you know I made a schedule for myself I know myself you know I know that I like to procrastinate I know that I can be lazy so I would make sure that I did everything that I need to do before I had to like before I did anything else so I made sure I studied like like Saturday morning like Friday nights I already know I don't do anything so I just I just don't but Saturday morning I would just study all day up until like around eight. Like I'll study from like eight in the morning to eight at night, you know, just so that way I can have like my Sunday off or, you know, just, I would say with that, with balancing, know yourself, be realistic with yourself and then you can go from there. So I wouldn't worry too much about being involved. Um, what would you recommend for people to do the summer right before starting from school? Oh my gosh, I want to do a video about this. Oh, wow, and you asked that question. <gasps> okay, I'm going to answer this question, but I'm going to answer it in another video. I have a whole list of things that I want to share with with those of you who are starting pharmacy school in the fall or whenever you start of what to do the summer before. Wow, you were like in my head. So I'm not going to answer that right now because I'm going to answer it in the video. So that should be that should be coming this week or next week. But yeah, it's coming. So I'm not going to answer that yet. And those are all your questions. Okay. Oh, okay. Here goes the other question. Okay. So this is from, this question is from Kalichi Iluma. I hope I said your name right. Trust me. I know what it's like when people butcher my name. So if I said it wrong, like comment and like say how to pronounce it. Your question is, um, do you think it's possible to have fun outside of school? I don't really do much outside of school in undergrad, so I want to do things in pharmacy school. I know I'll probably be studying harder, but is there any time for other stuff too? Um, yes, you are still a human being. Like, you cannot be studying all My advice that you told me is like, you cannot be studying all the time because you will burn out so fast. So my first semester was a struggle because I didn't know anyone. Like I shared in my other video, I had a tough heartbreak, so like, there was so much going on. I feel like I was like depressed, but like, you know, God, you know, really got me through that. And um, second semester, I met these two amazing young ladies and we like hung out all the time because uh, they were also transferred. So they understood the struggle. There is a struggle. Um, so we would hang out. We would study all the time. We would do assignments together all the time. It was great. And I know I shared, like, before, I think I answered someone's question, they asked me, like, if they can study by themselves and if it's fine. Yes, it is fine, but second semester, I found that when studying with people, it's a lot more helpful. Especially, like, when you have assignments with, like, 50 questions and, and homework assignments like that, you could do it together and it gets done so much faster and you learn. Like, when we would sit and, like, study together, I learned so much more. So, I know in undergrad, I didn't really study with people but in pharmacy school, I find it to be a lot more helpful. So whoever I answered that question to where I said that um, I study alone, I take it back. <laughs> Second semester showed me that studying with people is really helpful in pharmacy school. And don't worry if you don't know anyone, it's okay. You're going to meet some people and you're going to study with them and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that needs to was right. This is so amazing. So um, I would definitely, definitely, definitely 100% study with people but anyway those two young ladies that I met it was great because after like we would have like a whole bunch of exams we would go out to dinner and we would just like have a good time just talking and just you know eating and it was great and um, one of the girls she actually lived on my floor so we would like go to Starbucks and we would like go to the movies and all that stuff um that's what I consider fun 
Um, I don't know what you consider fun. I don't know what it is exactly that you want to do, but just know that you do have the time to have some, you know, you time, you know, it's not impossible to go out and have fun and meet people and do whatever it is that you like to do. You can still do that in pharmacy school. Like don't burn out too fast because then you're going to regret it. And you don't want to burn out like after a few weeks because that can happen after a few weeks. So yes, you can still have a great time in college. Like I said, when I answered the other question, prioritize, 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 prioritize. I cannot tell you that enough. So best thing to do is have a schedule, um, have a realistic schedule. And two, even if you don't follow your schedule to the T, it's okay, but at least it gives your mind an idea of how you want to go about your day, your week, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I think those were all the questions I got. So I'll go right into like my first year. Still can't believe that a first year is like done. Whoa. Um, what can I say? Uh, pharmacy school is hard, but like I shared in my last video, um, I'm happy that I'm sharing this with you all because it's really showing even me how faithful God is to just get me through these assignments, these exams, all this stuff. So my advice to you is not to scare you and don't get scared by other people saying, oh, pharmacy school is so hard. Don't get scared. It's fine because wherever God needs you to go, he will bring you there and he will see you through. So don't worry. So throughout the first semester, I struggled with, um, with that in terms of having contentment of just like, oh my gosh, like, God, everything is going crazy. What's going on? This is not okay. I'm, I don't want to be here. Like, it was really bad. And like I shared, it was a combination of a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life. So it was just hard and it was just lonely. But, um, you know, God got me through it and God got me through second semester. And I'm so happy because like I said, I shared, I, like I shared, I met these two young ladies who are amazing and they were, uh, they're transfers too. So it made it easier for us to connect and, so I'm like so excited and even like more great news. I also applied to be a transfer peer mentor. I received one when I started pharmacy school and she was amazing and she really helped me out. Like she was just like, this is what you need to know about this professor, this professor and all this stuff to try to trans to help you transition into your first year. So I'm going to be one of those for someone who is transferring in in the fall. So yeah, I take on a lot of stuff. Oh, y'all just keep going. Um... And I also am going to be on the e-board of the Christian Pharmacy, CPFI, Christian Pharmacy Fellowship International. I don't really know what the last part means. It's CPFI. My college has it. And so they asked me to be on the e-board to be their event planner. So I'll be like, you know, planning the events and stuff. I'm super excited because I really um, wasn't expecting to be on e any type of e-board. Um, so yeah, so second semester was just a great semester because it helped me to like, you know, branch out, meet people. And now I'm like super involved. Well, We'll see how everything works out in the fall because I did sign up for a lot of things. So, um, yeah. So my advice to you after, like, you know, for those of you who are about to go to pharmacy school is get involved, meet people. Don't be scared to meet people and just, you know, make those connections because the quicker you do that, the quicker you'll be able to adjust and the better time that you'll have. And it'll just, it just makes things a lot easier. Like I'm smiling so much because it's just like looking at, first semester and second semester like second semester was definitely harder academically but it was just better socially and just overall because I was able to you know really meet people and be more comfortable and really feel like this is my school you know um which I wasn't feeling like that um at first semester at all it was just a struggle and it was hard for me so when you're starting pharmacy school, like, you know, at your orientation, talk to people, get connections. And yeah, you're going to talk to a lot of people, but like, you know, continue after that to like keep those connections and to like form those study groups and to like meet people. Learned a lot of lessons about myself, really just, you know, um, realizing that God needs you alone sometimes to have your relationship with him grow. So that was hard to learn at first, but, you know, I began to understand that and let God be my best friend, you know, 
instead of running to everyone else, it was just like, okay, God, I'm going to run to you. So um, do that. Your first semester, even when things seem a little lonely, just always reach out to God and allow him to be your best friend. So yeah, so that's pretty much all I really want to share. Like first semester was a struggle, transition was hard, and then second semester it was a lot better because I was able to meet some people and really just form those study groups and we really, you know, went through this together and I was like, these are my peoples, okay? So yeah, so my advice to you is um, don't be scared. I know starting pharmacy school is a scary feeling. Trust me, I was there. I was nervous. I was scared. I didn't think I was able to do it, but, you know, thank God I did. And um, only by God's grace, truly. Um... So yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything else to share because this was just a video summing up. But as I make more videos this summer, I'll probably share more stuff. As you guys ask more questions, I will share them. Yeah, that's all I want to share. If you guys have any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. Um, yeah, that's it. Next video should be, it should be what to do before starting pharmacy school. And I hope to get that out pretty soon. That's all I have to share, and as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, everyone.